What's going on guys, Rogue here, and today I'm here to bring you some new Final Fantasy XV news as it has been hitting the internet, and I, I don't know if it's new, new news, like new news, like as in like new, as I think I reported on it back in like my, my earlier videos for this thing, because this is like uh, update number 11, and it's just about the, um, an article stating that when, when we'll get a release date on the Final Fantasy XV um, release date basically. So let's go ahead and read this as the article is on Wired.com. Final Fantasy XV's release date has a release date. I'm about to start reading now. Hajime Tabata, director of the long-awaited Final Fantasy XV, has announced when the game's release date will be announced. As quoted by Famitsu and translated by the blog Nova Crystallis, Tabata promises that the game, which has been in development in one form or another since 2005, will release this year. will show the real XV during the release date announcement in March. He told the game, he told Japanese Game Magazine. Market calendars, folks. Okay, after this is just about stuff that, you know, associated with, like, people thinking Final Fantasy XV is, um, is, uh, fake or is it real or is it coming out this year? Now, this is my speculation part it, for the event in March. Um, when that, when that happens, that event, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be like, it's going to be basically like, um, probably some big, probably some big thing at like probably PAX or something who knows but it's I think it's Square Enix's own little event so we'll probably get something like that and it'll be like it'll be like you know just just something normal like we'll get like it and we'll and then I know our 15 gameplay will be shown as I did read another article like earlier in like the couple days like I think earlier in the day as today PlayStation Network was down so I couldn't really record I couldn't really do anything so with it being down I, uh, what's it called, um, just, you know, I didn't do anything at all today, I couldn't really play the game, I did play a game, but it glitched out and locked me out and everything, and I was like, oh, I guess I can't play it, but, um, yeah, the PlayStation, yeah, not PlayStation, Square Enix will probably do this, and they'll probably, um, have, they, they'll probably show off new gameplay of, um, as we got the Active Time Report coming up this month, we'll have that event in March, so guys, mark your calendars, so we can look forward to it, and they'll probably do that. We'll probably also get to see some Kingdom Hearts gameplay of 2.8, probably of the um, the Z. I think it's Kingdom Hearts Zero Point Birth by Sleep 0.5. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the other thing of Kingdom Hearts, like 2.8, like that whole compilation of um, of uh, games just that's gonna come in probably this year for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we'll probably see new, see new gameplay of that, but that's really all my discussion on that. Let me go ahead and read the next article that I have pulled up. So I've, well, I'm not really going to go over the article. I, I can't find it anymore, but here's what the main point of the article was. Basically, some people were complaining that the, that the Final Fantasy 15 game is open world. And yes, it is. That's one thing it is. But the director has came on and stated that the game isn't exactly open world. It's an open world but it's not the it's not considered an open world it is considered linear a, li a linear and open world actually um how i mean by that is the story the main quest is linear and the game in the actual um in the actual game is open world say if you discover a region and you want to explore it then you need to stop your car or a train because they said there are different modes of transportation. Stop the car or train, go explore, go find some side quests to do. That is that is what they that is what they're wanting you to do. Not just go after main quest fully and you'll explore it. The, and I, I, the director has also said, as I read the article and if I remembered correctly, that there will be certain events you will have to do certain things differently from um, you know to uh attain like or to get to another area and i think that involves like climbing climbing cliffs and you know sliding down uh passageways and everything you know i actually in my opinion i like the open world experience because i'm an open world gamer i like to play games in the open world environment and with the games that are like you know open world it's like with with some games that are like here in the united states that are open world RPGs are really really cool to me because um because I mean I like to discover new worlds and with Final Fantasy 15 I will be doing that because I will be focused on the main quest but then I will probably be you know going off in in like the um in the many different days 
to fight um the to do some side quests you know to like you know do some stuff for the side quest do some stuff for um do some stuff for like i don't know like ride some chocobos chocobo drifting who knows like we'll probably do that well who knows what anybody will do in final fantasy because it's an open it is an open world game but if you just play the story it's linear it's a linear game you'll probably get it done in a matter of probably like 20 hours maybe even 30 who knows how long the game is actually because that's the uh that's the, who knows like because um the game is the game looks to be long because even the demo it might have been short but if you only focused on the story missions and it went after uh the and went after like let's say you went after the behemoth and then you die you lost for the first time and then you uh and then you played and then you went to that cave discovered the uh the summoning and then went to fight the behemoth and then collect your car you're done that sounds short as hell right but if you walk around and enjoy and discover the environments and do some of the um do some of the uh tours with gladio and prompto and um ignis if you do the tours it'll make the game long it'll make the demo a little longer because i the demo lasted way, way longer for me it lasted a it lasted like a good, a, a little, a little while, you know. And, uh, I, because I really didn't play it, played. I just gave it a point as a time that recorded some footage. I did all that, and it's good. But that's what the game is really is. It's, it's a, it's a linear open world game. I'm gonna call it that. And it's, it's, a, it feels like gonna be a great game. I can't wait for it. I hope it does come out this year. Cause I'm afraid it probably would be delayed. As we just got Scalebound for the Xbox One as an exclusive, it got delayed a whole year. It was supposed to come out at the end of this year. Now it got delayed into 2017, which I don't think is bad, but I also don't think it's good because it's like, I don't know. It's, it, I, I support delays. I think delays are what's going to make the game better and improve it better, you know? So hopefully this is really what um, gets the point across about uh, what, I've, what I've, you know, gave into this video of, you know, being an open world game or linear game, the release date, and then the active time report coming out in this in this month, January. So, yeah, you guys have a wonderful day or night, and if you can, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and, you know, give me some support. I would really like it, and I'm trying my best. See you guys later. Peace.